Hey guys, Flying Dutchie here, and welcome back again to the Russian World Conquest slash 1 faith into the Roman Empire. Let's play. That's a mouthful, but that's what we are going to do. So, last episode we uh, decided if we are going to start the Golden Era, and the answer is yes. More morale, all power cost goes down, more good produced, and more maximum absolutism. We don't need that maximum absolutism, but the morale is really nice. So, now I wonder... If this is going to affect our integration. I think I was wondering that last time as well. Uh, we need 720 Diplo points to annex Byzantium. I don't think that's going to change it. Because they are saying all power costs. Hello France, what are you doing here today? Looks like uh, he wants to sit here with attrition with Milan. That French doomstack. Yeah. You have to watch out for that doomstack there. Oh! Uh, we are talking about doomstacks, well, we are dooming them here. They are blockading with 6 heavies, 24. I have 11 heavies, let's uh, make sure that we are making more of those. Why do you make more than one in the same province? I don't, I don't understand that, I really don't. So that, that button doesn't work. I need to do it manually. That will be our armada. What is the doomstack doing here? He is going away. And he is doing nothing. He is going back and forth to all the provinces that are available to him. Typically Paradox AI. Ahem. Mantua, we have their capital. Um, you are stuck there. You can go to Parma. Go to Parma. We are just going to get all their forts. That's way more important. Can you get heavies from the burgers? Hey, yes. I can actually, but they lose loyalty and I don't have loyalty. And we are having the modifier again. Where is it? I don't know. It has to do something with our trade income. If this is going over 25%. Then your burgers get plus 5% more uh, influence. So this number actually needs to go back to 25 or 24%. So my trade fleet, where are you? Yeah, that is really scary what you're doing. Come here and that should solve the problem. Graubunden. Oh, that's here. Um... Hmm. Quickly siege those things around here. Then we are going to move back to here. Nice, the siege of Milan is also ours. And it's over, right? Yeah, 76%. So now we have less than 25% uh, trade. It's 24.9. So we are going to get that problem a lot of times. Client stage is Diplo Deck 23. Yeah. But yeah, that is. What are we going to do? I need Deck 23, but they also need to complete influence ideas. So that is uh, the question. That is the question. No, occupy more forts. 
Then we're gonna kill all the armies. Blockade, fine. Rebels? No, not coming. Go away. Converting Holland. Tirol. 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 Going to convert you. Okay. That is all occupied now. We'd go, we could go to Wallis. I, I don't know. No, it is too busy here with armies that I am afraid. I will siege all of this again. Uh, Urbino is my is in the war as well, right? Yeah, we need to siege Urbino so we can piece Urbino out. I could do this, but I don't know if my fleet is strong enough. I don't think so. Let's not do it. Um... I don't know what to do first, actually. I really don't know what I should do first. Get the technology or finish the Diplo ideas. Okay, I made my mind. I'm gonna finish... I mean influence. I'm gonna finish the influence ideas right now. We have less unjustified demands and the policy will show up now. I think there it is. Diplo annexation costs minus 20%. We need to complete admin. Not gonna spend a point to get lower the unrest and get religious unity. No, we don't need this one. We could use this one, but there we need to complete uh, the quality ideas. Okay. How are we doing in America? Almost have that seat, so that is going well. Um. Still really scary out here with all those uh, armies. Really scary. Will the AI be so stupid to attack me in the hills? I don't think so. They are trying to resiege the fort, but I will be I will be faster. So we will attack them over here in the farmlands. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Again, this colony is damaged. I can't set my col colonial uh, I cannot set my I cannot set my native policy. So you know what? Go away, colony. There we go. Bye. Um mm -hmm. This is not I could go to the farmlands here. I could attack them here, but with which army? When this army is ready, we're gonna attack the French here. For now. Oh yeah, just split in half like that. That's good. And how close are we here? 14% of Picardy. And we can go to Paris. Paris, Paris, Paris. The bloody rebels took everything back for what I sieged. Of course they did. The AI got Milan back. I don't know how they did that, but they did. Whoa. How did they siege Milan back so quickly? No idea. Rebel, rebel, rebel. The Catholic Zealots are coming. Those are really annoying. Uh, yeah, admin. I mean, uh, military tech is coming up. That will improve our combat ability a lot, actually. How long does that take? Too long. It takes too long. We can take another Splendor. Uh, this age will go away very soon though, so it doesn't really matter what I'm gonna take. All of them are shit. All of them are things I never use. That are left, of course. Parma is ours. Okay, now we have two 
Big armies ready to strike. But it still doesn't look like it is enough. We need to wait for this siege to finish. The annexation of Byzantium. How is it going? They are 4.1%. It goes really slowly. Did the cost go down? It's now 700. I think it was 720, right? No, I don't know anymore. Oh well. Reoccupy the stuff. Come on, get Urbino. Come on. No. 71%. 64%. We are going to wait for the sieges that we have and we are going to strike here. You are done. I wonder if they'd ever do a CK3 or a Victoria 3. I think there will be a Victoria 3. Victoria 2 was such a good game. In my opinion. There must be one. No, let's go to Paris then. Do they have an army in Paris? No. Their armies are here. Eighty-five percent, and we still did not get the siege. Are you kidding me? What is my army tradition? Seventy-five. We have too many leaders. I need to kill that one. You are really bad. And you are really bad too. The shock is not good anymore. Wait, that was Alexei Soltikov. You need to go here. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Okay, prepare. I cannot get there. Oh, this army cannot get there. Annoying. Annoying. More people entering the coalition. The coalition will be become very big soon. Come on. Oh, 85% and we still did not get it. I can't wait for... There, look what's gonna happen, guys. The AI is gonna siege this province with 14% to annoy the player. 3, 2, 1. Okay, they didn't do it. But can I please siege it now? Come on. Come on, you can do it. Wow, you did it. Time to strike. Time to strike. Can we make it in time? We should make it in time. You. Well-staffed garrisons. That's nice. That is not so nice. Do we have a spare army left? Nope. Can you attack that sieging stack? We are going to do that right now. The French are going to attack me in Milan. That is not good. And we need to do this though. If we are not going to attack them right now. Then we have a big problem. Can I go here? I can. Move faster and go. Move faster. Move there. No. There. There. And there. Okay. This is going to be a big battle. We have 6.9 morale, we have more tactics, we have more discipline. We are outflanking them. We are gonna win this. I could reinforce the siege here with one stack. Maybe you can go there. I'm gonna risk it. Risk it for the biscuit, right? Yeah, we won here. Reinforce that. It's not gonna be in time, I think. Okay. 
It's going to be... Are we going to win this? Not if we roll zeros. Yeah, we have so many cannons. Yeah, we're going to win this. Right. Game. Game. Come on, game. Stop rolling zeros. Stop it. Ugh. We won, actually. Uh, let's go after the other Mantuian army. We got Milan back. Let's occupy all of Milan real quick and piece them out. Uh, I will take some land from them though. I think. I don't know, maybe. I wonder. Uh, Urbino, do you want to piece out? I think they will. Nope. Shift consolidate so they fight better. And that's a stack wipe, I think. No, no. Close though. It was a stack wipe. Nice. Kill the rebels. They are coming back here. They are re reassembling their armies. The Romo Danovskis. We get 30 years more local trade power, but local tax power goes down and we gain population. Population doesn't do anything in this game, so I don't understand it. So we are going for that one. Peace out Milan. That sounds like a good idea. 89 war score. What are we going to take from him? I can't create a I can't create a uh, a Clyde state yet. That is the problem. So I think I need to release one more nation around here. But which one? Savoy? Yeah. I'm gonna release Savoy. Savoy not in the game, right? Savoy. No, you're not. You're a state. So we will release Savoy after the war. And feed him some land over here. I don't think there's a better candidate. No. Gonna release uh, Zavoy, so we're gonna take as many things as possible. Gonna piss them up, uh, piss them off, piss them out, piss them off as uh, much as possible. Uh, cannot take that one though. Um, 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 um. Let's do it like this, like this. But we need a little bit more war score. Come back here. Doomstack. How is the Doomstack doing in Paris? They are doing a great job. We can take the next admin idea. Yeah. Two more to go. For cheaper annexation. You are gonna stay here. It's very... Go there. Man, those rebels. Really annoying. Yeah, this liberty desire is not good. Not good at all. And it keeps doing it. So, can we influence your nation? How much is it? Yeah, we have to do this. We have to do it. What's the hardest achievement in the game? Uh, the three mountains. 
Conquer the world as a Ryukyu. I am there first, so that is really good. Uh, yeah, that's really good actually. Going for it. No, they changed their mind. Understandable. Understandable. Would they peace out now? They will. We could try to have a connection. No. No, 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 no. You can do this. Gonna release uh, Savoy. Everyone will hate me. Oh. Meh. We have a mission, right? We have a mission, game. And that means that I will conquer everything. Next one is Urbino. Uh, you need to split in half again. You go there, you go there. Aragorn broke the alliance. They are going to join the coalition as well, I think. Well, they are close. This could be the turning point of the campaign. We could start have started a bit too early with the total uh, occupation thing. And now this army is stuck here. Yep. Yeah. Good job, Dutch. Oh, no, it's not. I made a... Uh, False presumption. There will be a big, and then I mean a really big coalition coming now. Everyone is going to join it. Which makes totally sense. Okay, there is the French-Mexican army. Occupy all the stuff real quick, and then we're gonna fight that. Um, <laughs> Trish in here. Can you go in now? No, we need to kill that uh, fleet first. So I would love to, to separate peace France for their colonies. And I think we have to. I wonder if we are going to get enough war score when we siege the when we are sieging Paris. I'm not sure. Okay, there's my good fleet now, I think. Yeah, that's a, that could be enough heavies now to fight the French uh, navy at least. You're going to Luca. 
and you're gonna fight the French. We have the Siege of Paris. Gonna kill that army. Are they medium? They are medium. We are having war score, so maybe we could take some colonial, colonial stuff from France. That would be uh, would be really good. Would be really good. Looks like we can. Kill them! You guys are reinforcements. Do you want to peace out now? Would be no. Yeah. Why do you have two colonial nations? I made one by conquering um, Norway. Then I released Norway. Norway colonized. And I annexed Norway again or something. I don't know anymore what happened. And now they are back. <laughs> something like that. Okay, now we have a doom stack again. More tactics than the enemy. This is going to be glorious, guys. Can you not reach that? Can you not reach? Why not? Oh, okay, well, we are fighting the. We are going to fight in the hills. Fine. We are going to win anyway. Because we have more tactics than the enemy. They better retreat. And they are. Now we can go into France over there. You need to kill those rebels. You are done here. Um, you guys are coming out over there. You going there. So the only one that we need to peace out now is France. You only need to peace out France. So we can't take this because there is no fort, but apparently France has no forts here because I can take all of this. So we can make a... wait, what? Yeah. We can make a uh, colonial nation in Brazil. We can make a colonial nation in Louisiana. And we can take a colonial nation in Mexico. So... We are going to take a big chunk of America because we need to start doing this. And this also means that we are go not going to peace out. We are going for it. We are going to take everything. We need to fully siege uh, France. That is what we need to do. Which is fine. France gains a core on Piedmont. Wait, what? Really? France. Oh yeah, France. Yeah. Blech. Whatever. So that means actually that I am tempted to core this land now. Since we will be at war for a long time. So that is what I'm going to discuss with the Twitch chat. Thanks for watching for the YouTube episode. And like and subscribe the video if you like it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.